It's a beautiful day. Today in our lesson, we are going to learn how to improve the appearance of our web page. But before we start, let's have a quick review in our previous topic. In Unit 2, we talk and learn about the basic structure of HTML. We introduce the heading element H1 to H6, the paragraph tag, horizontal rule, line break and the HTML formatting elements such as bold, strong, italic, emphasized, mark, small, delete, insert, subscript and superscript. You also finished writing your first web page. We also discuss about HTML attributes. We said that attributes provide additional information about HTML elements. Examples of HTML attributes are lang, href, src, title, class, id, width, height, style and many more. In this lesson we will focus on the lang, title and style attributes. Let's get started. The lang attribute. The language of the document can be declared in the HTML tag. The language is declared with the lang attribute. Declaring a language is important for accessibility applications, screen readers, and search engines. See the following example. The first two letters specify the language, N. If there is a dialect, use two more letters, US. The title attribute. The title attribute can be declared in any visible element in the body such as paragraph, image or links. The value of the title attribute will be displayed as a tooltip when you mouse over the element. See the following example. HTML styles. The HTML style attribute is used to add styles to an element, such as color, font, size, and more. To use the style attribute we need to follow the syntax. Where the property is a CSS property and the value is a CSS value. We will explain the CSS in the second part of this unit. The CSS background color. The background color property defines the background color for an HTML element. This example sets the background color for a page to khaki. See this example. CSS text color. If you want to apply styles for text color you may use the color property. The color property defines the text color for an HTML element. See this example. CSS fonts. To change font style you can use font family. The font family property defines the font to be used for an HTML element. Check this example.
CSS text size. To change font size we can use font size property. The font size property defines the text size for an HTML element. Here's the example. CSS Text Alignment If you want to align your text in the center, left or right, we can use the Text Align property. The Text Align property defines the horizontal text alignment for an HTML element. This is the sample. In our previous examples we apply style in HTML with CSS. We already defined CSS as cascading style sheets which describes how HTML elements are to be displayed on screen, paper, or in other media. We can add CSS to HTML elements in three ways, first in line style. By using the style attribute in HTML elements. This style is simple and straightforward. We can apply style directly on HTML elements just like in our previous examples. Second internal style. By using a style element in the head section. Third external style. By using an external CSS file and linking it in an HTML document. We will have an in-depth discussion about applying CSS using internal and external CSS in our succeeding topics. That's all for now. Thank you and congratulations for completing another unit. See you again.